I'm Olivia Estelle, and today I wanted to talk about synchronicity. Its place in our spiritual journey, its place in spiritual growth, my own experience with it, and just how to use synchronicity. Why is it important? So, first of all, synchronicity is important for us in our spiritual journey. Firstly, because it is letting us know that we're getting into the flow state, which is a special state of connectivity. It can also function as a reminder to try to push us into that flow state. If we are not already there, maybe we're close. So either it's going to be a number that keeps repeating, like 1111, that you keep seeing as a, as a reminder trying to nudge you back into your connection and nudge you back into your spiritual growth, or it is going to confirm with you that you are on the path and that you are in the flow state. So it is, it is there to give us validation. It is there to let us know that we are not alone on our path. And it is trying, it's seeking to give us answers. It's seeking to lead us to answers. So if you put out the intention um, of a question maybe you had about anything really, about, you know, your spirit guides. So what you would be doing is you would just let it go. You've, you've set your intention and just let it go. Go about your day. Later on, when you're on a walk, maybe this is days later, months later, whatever the time that has passed. But later on, when you're on your walk, you look down and you suddenly see a white feather that you had been thinking about before and wondering if they were connected to your spirit guides. Or maybe you were wondering, hey, such and such, so and so gets feathers. Why don't I? Is there something about them that is different than me? You know, this person gets pennies. Why don't I? One of the, the biggest um, things that you can do is set the intention. You can ask for reminders or you can ask for little little hints and synchronicities. The one that I use are feathers, so I will go almost every day and find feathers. If I'm outside, if I'm observing, and if I'm in the correct state of mind, if I'm in a flow state. If I'm working through something, I won't usually find as many feathers. Maybe my, my mind is going too much, or I'm processing, or I'm just in too much of a headspace. But once I find myself coming down into my heart, relaxing more, which is much harder to do in this COVID stuff. But that state of relaxation allows that to open back up and allows that flow state to, to come back. Um, so what I have experienced before is I would go out every day and just allow the pace of walking to set me into a, a calm state. And even if my thoughts are kind of going, I just try, I make a concerted effort to chill my thoughts out, to really calm them down, to try to bring myself back to my breath, just focus on, you know, the, the steps, the pavement, and really just feel, kind of feel the world around me, try to open up my observation and looking at things around me, looking at the blades of grass, the flowers, just really opening myself up. And that tends to sink me into a more relaxed state, which is really a higher vibration. So my thoughts would be starting to slow down and when I really focus on slowing down my thoughts and keeping only my observer mind open and basically going into a walking meditation state, that's when the real magic can happen. I try to hold that state as long as I can because that's when I tend to get interaction with guides. Maybe it's thoughts. Maybe it's um, I've gotten feathers. I've gotten you know, feathers just like float down right in front of me. I have had, you know, sightings of owls, birds, really cool experiences. I've touched moles, I've touched snakes. These 
these things seem to happen when I'm out in nature, when I'm in a really chill, relaxed, meditative state. And I love connecting with animals and I love connecting with nature and animals tend to give me my, my, my symbolism. I like to read their symbolism. And so since that is my interest, since that is my intention, really, that's what I get. That's what comes to meet me. I know other people that they've really put out the intention of pennies or nickels or dimes. I know people that have gotten together and they each have their own thing. So you have the, the penny person, you know, will show you pictures of pennies on the front step when they get home. You know, the nickel person is having nickels show up on their desk. And it's really because they have focused on spirit, used their intention to connect, and they have really put their focus on, you know, little tokens. And that is an easy way for spirit to communicate, an easy way to gain synchronicities. And there's all kinds of synchronicities. These are, these are very physical synchronicities. Some other synchronicities that I have experienced are having a question or holding the intention for a certain answer if I've been researching something. For example, I look up something or I, I remember something from a past life. And I'm like, okay, were there white pyramids in Egypt? Why did I see that? You know, and I just let it go. And then later on, I'll be randomly reading a book where I'll just open it up and it'll have that exact pair. It'll open right to that exact paragraph. Usually I take that as a sign that I need to go ahead and read that whole book. And I will usually do that. So it's just, I, but <laughs> I definitely always really take that in because especially as a claircognizant it's very easy for me to receive via books and the written word and so just keep that in mind if you are too that is where you should you should look and keep keep your mind out you know think song lyrics um or the spoken word things that someone else says to you those can be synchronistic to questions you've been holding other synchronicities that I have had, you know, or with people where I was just thinking about that person and then they show up or they text or call, that kind of synchronicity. Now, something that I think is a very important thing to share about synchronicities is that people can really take synchronicities at a concrete level. Synchronicities are a very subtle spiritual connection where basically time and space have been warped for you where you have created your own it's like your own hyperspace so to speak and you have elicited your own gravity with your intention and then that comes and meets you as a synchronicity so Sometimes people do this without knowing, without understanding the spiritual aspect of it. And really, synchronicities are trying to pull up your vibration. They're trying to raise your frequency and remind you of who you are, remind you of your spiritual nature and your connectedness. So sometimes synchronicities can basically meet us where we're at. So whatever maybe mindset that we're in or whatever interest we have at the time is where we're going to see our synchronicities because spirit is trying to get our attention with wherever our attention is going, okay? So it's like we're just kind of living in this lane. Spirit's like, okay, I'm going to have to go in there, meet you where you're at to try to pull you into this, you know, higher existence, into this higher vibration. So that why that's the why of synchronicity and sometimes i have had people have i've had clients tell me these amazing stories of these synchronicities that they've had with people and then they entered in to a relationship with them or have wanted to enter into a relationship thinking that the synchronicity meant that they were meant to be together and oftentimes not always, sometimes it does mean that, but 
oftentimes the synchronicity is really just trying to grab your attention where your attention is, which might be on a relationship or on that person. And it's not, it's not that you're supposed to be with them in a relationship as much as it's trying to get you to recognize that special moment with spirit that was not possible, that did not have any physical, you know, um, possibility other than a synchronicity. And it's trying to grab your attention that way. So that is just something I wanted to throw out as a as an illustration of synchronicity and the subtlety that that you can really get into when you're working with it. And I believe that is all for now. Thank you for tuning in more soon and have a great day.